Happening now, thousands of people have descended on Nashville for the NCAA Women's Final Four Tournament at Bridgestone Arena this weekend. The fun for the fans and the players started earlier this evening. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is live downtown tonight. He was there as players were officially welcomed to Music City. Todd, a little quieter where you are now, but still plenty of excitement, right? Yeah, Rory, hopefully I don't have to yell like I did at 5 and 6, but there's still plenty of excitement to go around. Notre Dame fans, they're hoping for that perfect season. Maryland's hoping to end that on Sunday. And then there is UConn. They have won this thing eight times now, including last year. They by far have the most fans here in town that have come from out of town, and they most likely have the most people rooting against them as well. You take all that, you put it together, you put it at the Mother Church, and you have one heck of a Nashville welcome party. For as quietly as they showed up, you'd think they were almost humble about their record. You'd think. But then again, there might be a reason the UConn band, cheerleaders, and yes, the fans showed up first. They expect to be first again. We love the Huskies and we love them. Yes, Stanford has that tree and Maryland a turtle, and Notre Dame claims to have luck on their side. Yeah! But UConn has a record, and that means they've got a long line of fans, those who have graduated. I have my daughter graduated, her son is in there, and my other granddaughter is in UConn also. And those who didn't. Just a big fan. And then there are those who have had enough. I'm a women's basketball fan, but I'm not a UConn fan. Janet Charest isn't claiming any colors this weekend, but let that record show she's not wearing blue. It's not hatred, it's just they have enough titles. They have enough. Yes, this was a chance for the ladies who will be playing this weekend to arrive in style, but it was also a chance to go on record with who the biggest fans in basketball are. And it turns out the biggest fans may just be of basketball, period. My dad coaches and I play, and she played on my dad's team with me. So no matter blue, green, red, and whatever color that is, they're all ready to play basketball in Nashville, record or not. We go to all the games that we can. And also let that record show that uh, the blue I'm wearing is completely by coincidence. I'm taking no sides on this one. And chances are, you, you, you guys out there, you don't have tickets to the game. But don't worry, there's still plenty of free stuff to do downtown this weekend, including uh, what they're calling Tourney Town. It's free at the Music City Center. It includes uh, games, concerts, contests, uh, the mascot challenge, and chances to get autographs with uh, all sorts of different athletes. We've got a full list of all the free stuff to do for you on newschannel5.com. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Todd Walker, News Channel 5 HD.